Hey guys, Donnie here, and thanks for joining me today on this edition of Big Drone Flyer 77. Hey, today I finally, after three months, my uh, SG906 Pro, which is the Beast Drone with the three axis gimbal, or excuse me, two axis gimbal, finally showed up, you guys. So, <laughs> after uh, pre order back in February, and then we had the, uh, the virus thing going on with, uh, with shipping. I finally got this thing uh, about three and a half months later after my first pre-order so uh, but I didn't uh, buy this myself and it's finally here I'm gonna unbox it but first let's go ahead and get to that intro stay tuned and welcome back everyone and hey, thanks for joining me today and finally I have my hands on my ZLRC quadcopter which is the SG906 Pro the Beast drone uh, this is an upgrade version I never did own the first uh, version but this is the second version which is also uh, brushless uh, this one actually has a two axis gimbal now uh, it's got a switchable camera to where you can uh, have optical flow or uh, run uh, GPS on this. Uh, this one uh, is foldable. It's got the point of interest, the waypoint. Uh, it's got the supposedly intelligent IPP following, which is a follow me mode. Um, it's supposed to have uh, longer battery life. You got the 4K, uh, 4K Ultra HD camera in there. Um, and it's got the 50 times zooming on this. So let's go ahead and open up the case. I went ahead and bought the one uh, that came with the case and it came with the two batteries. They had a three battery version. They had one that didn't come with the case, came just in a box, uh, but I did get the case one. Looks like we got the instructions. Instructions are here. All right, so we got the instructions. We got a lot of instructions, you guys, so. <laughs> Uh, UK would be in English, so uh, that would be for USA or UK. So English version here uh, looks like you got uh, you got Italian. There's looks like uh, uh, looks like Spanish and uh, Japanese and all kinds of different uh, different manuals here. I don't know why they sent so many, um, but I guess they want to make sure they tried to cover as many uh, countries as they could. So. But yeah, here we go. Let's here's the manual. Take a look. It's pretty small. This is 5G, guys, so that is nice. So uh, you know, hopefully you'll get good reception on the Wi-Fi FPV. I'm just kind of taking a peek. I'm just looking at this for the first time as well, you guys. So we're gonna take a look at the drone. Looks like it's got your Wi-Fi FPV app here. Uh, so I'll have to uh, take a look at that when we go to uh, take a flight so but it gives you instructions on how to calibrate it and uh, what all the controls are so um, let me go ahead and uh, take a look at the drone itself in the controller so see what all comes in here so yeah this thing looks pretty nice wow it's heavy I didn't know it was that heavy it looks pretty good you guys looks like it just uh, Looks like you unfold the top first. Oh, they click. Okay, so it's gonna click, and then the back arms just click as well. I'm gonna take this uh, plastic off here. There we go. Get that plastic off of there. Um, let me set it off the side for one second here because I want to see what else comes in the bag. Here's your controller. Looks like fake antennas. Yes, they're fake. There's no wire or anything going through there so that is fake antennas um okay that's going to be your phone holder as well huh oh uh, that's okay that's different looks like you can hold a pretty good sized phone in there stretches out quite a bit all right your on and off button speed rates here's your return to home your camera button your record button and then you got your display uh, uh screen there for your uh that way you can see uh, your distance and and all your telemetry you guys so that's good looks like it takes batteries I thought you know for the price of this which I got it for a, a, a pre-order price which I got a really good price on it um, I don't know what they're charging now I'll leave a link down in the descriptions but uh, 
I would have thought they would have had a um, lipo battery in this, you know, that would have been pretty nice. So to me, I bet you it takes four double A's. Um, you're going to have to take the screw off of there to look inside the cover. But yeah, I would have thought they would at least put some uh, a lipo battery in there so you could charge a controller because this thing it feels like a pretty cheap plastic, you guys. Really light. It feels pretty flimsy. So I um, was really hoping for a better controller. But uh, I guess the sticks must be in a bag somewhere. So let's take a look in here. We got uh, propellers. Let me go ahead and open it up. We got extra propellers here. Yep. Extra props. You get four props. All right. And you get some extra screws here. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Here's the charger, and yeah, there's the, looks like we got the controller uh, toggles here. There's the charge cable for the battery. There's the screwdriver. Matter of fact, I should see what uh, size batteries that takes in there. I'm sure it's four double A's is what it, looks like that's how big it is. So I'm gonna set that screw down in there for a minute. Yeah, so it's going to take four double A's, you guys. So, really bummed out about that. That doesn't latch very good, so you may want to put the screw back in there. See, I could, it doesn't even clip. So, that tells you how cheap this, uh, this controller is. I'm not too happy with it. I bought this myself, you guys. So, you know, I'm not afraid to say, even if it was sent to me for free, I would tell you the same thing cheap controller not too happy with the controller so hopefully the controller works good and here are the little uh here's the little toggles here and they're i don't know <laughs> just sure feels cheap you guys these even feel pretty cheap i'm not too impressed so far and i'm just being honest you guys you know i just thought it'd be a little bit better these these don't even screw in yeah, they're not even screwing. There's no threads, no nothing, you guys. So I guess you just got to push them down and I guess pop these in here, I guess. Yep, they just push down in there. I would think they would have had them threaded. That's kind of not good to be pushing on the toggles so hard to get these in there like that. So yeah, I got to push really hard to get those in there. But the sticks feel nice once they're on there, and if you're a pincher, it definitely uh, they're definitely long enough for you to control like that. Um, I use my thumb, so it's going to be just fine. These are very very sharp. Uh, they weren't machined very well, as you can see. They look like daggers at the end, so it definitely can cut you. Uh, they're that sharp, you guys. So uh, here's the battery. One's already in it, and here's the spare. See if I can open that up. I was just telling you about the two axis uh, anti shake uh, camera in there, and then module adjustment um, for wide angle. And but I got the two axis, so this is if you got the uh, the 4K camera that's hand tiltable. You know, it doesn't have a a gimbal, but this one does have the two axis gimbal. Yeah. So here's the spare battery battery doesn't seem that great of a quality but it is 7.4 7 volt 2800 milliamps so I don't know what flight time they're saying this is supposed to have hopefully 2800 hopefully I'll get at least uh, 15 to 17 minutes I would hope with this looks like they try to do some kind of style smart battery it is looks like it's fully charged it's got four lights lit up on there so got a little clip here so that way you can pop the battery out so let me go ahead and set this off the side let me go ahead and move this uh, bag the bag don't feel too bad the bag feels like it's all right not too bad it's got actual little uh, holders right here you know on the side there so and you can at least put your tablet up in that zipper section so move this stuff out of the way all right so yeah you're gonna just push down that and the battery's gonna slide out you guys so all right just thought it was gonna be a little bit different the drone feels good feels kind of heavy feels like it's not badly made 
Uh, you got the Wi-Fi FPV camera sitting out right here. Uh, remove film before removing. Oh, it's just telling. Oh, you can remove this. It's just telling you how to take the the gimbal uh, guard off. So there we go. There's the gimbal. So camera is pretty small in there, you guys. It's just pretty much all glass right here. But it's got a look like almost like a pin pinhole camera there. It's not a very big camera, so um, let's have to see how it does. I've seen other ones that had some jello, little jello going on when they're filming, so hopefully mine will do okay. We'll have to find out when we go for a flight. There's where the memory card goes, so definitely go with the class 10 memory card. Um, I'm probably going to only go with uh, 32 gigabytes, maybe 64. I'm sure it can hold 64. Uh, so I'm going to do that class 10 on that one, but it looks okay guys. We'll just have to see how well it does. I'm not too sure how, uh, what size these KV motors are. Um, I'll have to take a look at that. I'll put it right here in the screen. If I find out, um, hopefully they kind of look like the size of the MJX. So I don't know if it's going to be 1800 KV uh, maybe it'll be uh, bigger, but uh, I'll have to take a look in the manual and see what size that uh, that is. So I definitely will leave it up on the screen for you guys. But yeah, that's basically it, you guys. Not too much else to it. I thought it was going to be a little bit better. Um, you know, the seams are, are not seamless. <laughs> Some gaps in there. So definitely still in the toy grade level, but at least... Um, Hopefully it'll be a better toy grade for people to, that have their first uh, uh, feel for GPS uh, with brushless motors and, and a two axis gimbal. So, uh, but I did get a pretty good deal on this guys, but it just took forever to get here. That's what, that's what kind of bothered me. I thought I wasn't gonna get it, but if you guys have orders out there, don't give up. I know a lot of times, I know people wanna just say, forget it and cancel their orders. Um, I kind of hung in there. I knew there was a lot of stuff going on at the time. I know they're getting better at it because uh, when I ordered my Ishin uh, EAT-04 buggy, uh, that one came within the 20 days. It normally does to get here from China to the United States. So uh, I ordered that after this, but I think it was just during the pandemic and everything kind of just got held into like an isolation over there. Um, when they were going through customs so but it did arrive guys so uh today's this is just the unboxing you guys i will definitely have a flight coming i just wanted to get this unboxing and show you guys that it did come those who follow my channel know i've been waiting for this guy for a while now so at least it did show up and uh hopefully i can get a flight in here uh shortly so all right guys hey thanks for watching like always guys god bless Cheers and happy flying.